Albert Alain is the father of a beautiful family of musicians. The best known members of the family are Jean, the composer, and Marie Claire, the world famous organist. Mr. Alain has built with his own hands a wonderful organ for his home at Saint Germain en Laye near Paris. Here is a picture of this organ in the family living room with the builder Albert Alain standing on the left. Behind the few pipes you can see, there are about 2,500 more hidden. And also the bellows and all the mechanical parts. Behind the living room, there was the dining room. And it has been completely filled with all kinds of pipes and machinery. So the family had to eat in the kitchen. Albert Alain worked on the organ from about 1910 until his death in 1971, 60 years of work. When he died, the house was sold and the organ had to be dismantled. At that time, it was not in good shape because Mr. Alain had become quite old and couldn't anymore maintain the organ as he did before. It wasn't even sure whether the organ could be repaired. After many travels in search of a home in France, the organ finally arrived in the small Swiss town of Romain-Mautier, at the foot of the Jura Mountains, not too far from Geneva and Lausanne. Romain-Mautier was in early times the location of an important Clunisian monastery. The church and some buildings are still existing. So the organ lives now in the attic of one of these ancient houses. The organ builders from Saint-Martin in Switzerland worked a long time to return it to its original beauty. Many thousands of visitors now can enjoy it, and the musicians can hear exactly the same sounds which inspired the music of the Alain family. The Jean Alain Association, which has members all around the world, takes care of the instrument and of all the events around it. It has been declared a historic monument and is under the protection of the Swiss government. Let us now have a look at Albert Alain's remarkable work. He was educated as a cabinet maker and knew how to work with wood, but since he did not have much money, he often used anything he could find around the house. When you look inside an organ, you realize how very many pipes are needed and how different they all are in terms of length and shape. A long pipe gives a low sound, and the short pipe gives a high sound. The shape of the pipes determines the color of the sound. Certains de ces tuyaux 
Some of the pipework is enclosed in a room which can be opened and closed by the organist, so the organ sounds more or less loudly. Vous avez parlé de tuyaux de récupération, matériel de récupération. This wooden pipe, for instance, has been made of a box containing watercolors. You can even still read the instructions on the box. The problem of metal pipes was more difficult since Albert didn't know how to cast metal. So, he had to buy old pipes whenever an organ was thrown away, and when the pipes were not exactly what he needed, he had to do all kinds of funny work on them. Here with a cork from a wine bottle, with rope, or with tape. But even so, he managed to make the pipes to sound quite well. The fingers of the player play on a keyboard. And in order to bring this motion all the way to the pipes, organ builders build a simple but subtle mechanical system which has to be precise and light. Here you can see that the pipes stand on a kind of wooden box called wind chest. In the wind chest there are ventils which can be opened with the system and the air blows into the pipes. Since each pipe can only play one single note, we need for each color as many pipes as there are keys on the keyboard. Each of these groups of pipes is called a rank and gives all notes of the keyboard in the same color. The work of an organ builder is very difficult indeed. He has to have good ears when he voices and tunes all the pipes. Albert Alain has mastered all these difficulties. He has to know how to work with metal and wood, how to build a good and reliable mechanic. And he made a very beautiful musical instrument. It is the work of his entire life. Now, the organ needs to be played. This is the cockpit. The knobs allow the organist to select the sounds. Certains d'entre eux ont des noms d'instruments que vous connaissez. Many of these knobs have names of orchestral instruments. Some others have names which exist only in organs. The stops of the Alain organ have French names. In English, the names can be a little different. 
Each keyboard controls a group of pipes. There's also a keyboard for the feet, called pedal board. Usually, the bass is played on the pedal board. For beginners, playing with the feet may be difficult. For accomplished organ players, the handling of all the controls while playing is even more difficult. Look how complicated it can become if nobody helps. In very modern organs, there is a computer to help the organist. But Mr. Alain did not know computers, and one has to ask somebody to help. Now I'm going to play Jean Alain's most famous piece called Litany. Oh, I almost forgot the assistant.